Hey everyone! So I went shopping and it's been literally two years or coming to two years since I tried new makeup and I just am running out of a few things and some essentials that I usually use so hence the haul. Yeah. So I went to Landmark and SM. So I'm gonna start off with nail polishes. So I got this one which is, I already tried it but I didn't really like it. This is the BYS Nail Enamel and it's their matte nail polish is just in matte white if you're curious so I use this I'm always in a hunt for a good white nail polish but it literally chipped the next day and I didn't really do that much handwork either or craft stuff so it just peeled the next day I don't know I haven't been lucky with matte nail polishes so I guess that's why it's a matte formula but I will still try other formulas from this brand but not completely in love with that then I got five from the brand called Chic or Chic or Whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it really. It's a local brand here in the Philippines. And I got, I, they're all from the Catherine Bernardo collection. She's a famous person here in the Philippines. And I got two from the Edgy collection. I got Raven, which is a beautiful midnight blue, which I'm in love with. Then this one is Shadow, which is a beautiful silver polish. I've been saying beautiful in everything, so they are pretty. Then I got two from the Cat Queen. I got Empress, which is a beautiful gray polish. Then this beautiful nudie pink, which the camera is totally washing out. It's just a nice nude pink in the shade Serena. Serena, there's a T before the name Serena. I don't know how to pronounce it. Then I got uh, one from the pastel collection called Hula Hoop, which is a beautiful, you know, mint green polish. And then I got uh, a few, well, it's not the, the right. There's a lot of stuff going on here, so I'm sorry. Uh, I got more from the brand called from the brand called Oh My Gosh or OMG basically it stands for Oh My Girl and I got these from Landmark and they were 10% off so I'm not quite sure if they're still 10% off but I'm gonna start with the one I have on my nails which is this beautiful periwinkle blue color or periwinkle and it's in the shade Cloud it's really really pretty in love with that and then I got Sunset, which is like a tangerine coral orange, and uh, Demure, which is like a nude polish. You can see it's a nude compared to the white one in Demure. Then lastly, I got Strobe, which is like a top coat, and I was planning to use this on top of Cloud, and it's not coming up well. So I'm still playing around with that. Then, so um, finally, makeup stuff. So Maybelline is having their um, May Madness makeup sales so their lipsticks and their mascaras are 100 pesos off their lip balms are 15 pesos off and i'm not quite sure with other stuff because those are basically the things i buy from maybelline so starting off with lip balm i got two i got their maybelline baby lips pink glow in pink blast and their electro pop in pink shock which i love 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 and then i also repurchased their falsies mascara i should have worn this today because my falsies is really really dried up but I don't know I like it. it's the only thing that's still in their package besides the lip balm then lately I also tried the new powder from Maybelline which is the white super fresh um, long-lasting UV cake powder it's their no touch up foundation lies <laughs> moist 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 but that that looks really really bright on camera but it's basically a white compact and it says Maybelline and there's a mirror and Please forgive the very, very dirty sponge. I've hit pan on this. And this is in the shade Nude Beige. And it's been a while since I wore foundation or any liquid and powder. I've just been using a really, like a translucent powder and that's it. And sometimes my skin needs a little pick-me-up because sometimes my skin looks a little bit dull. And this is just perfect for it. So I really do like this powder. It's, it's, it's light to almost medium coverage, so don't expect a lot of coverage from this one, but it just keeps my skin super fresh. It just looks natural. It covers a few imperfections, but still lets your natural skin seep through, so I've been enjoying this. The 12-hour matte finish, do not believe that, and you would still need to touch up throughout the day, maybe after a few hours, but really do like this. So you can also buy a refill, so that's what I bought. So I bought a refill uh, that refill and it's in nude beige. The other powder I tried is the Clear Smooth BB Silk Poreless White Skin Transforming Cake Powder. It's been years since I wanted to try this one. Um, 
it has a very pretty compact. And I got it in the shade Nude, nude Beige. Nude Beige, just a mirror. There's the powder and there's the sponge, which I used. I used this on its own uh, last weekend and I actually do like it. This one blends in like butter. It's really, really smooth, the powder, when you touch it and compare it to the White Super Fresh. This one is a lot more smooth, but compared to the White Super Fresh, this one only you know offers a little bit more coverage so yeah, I actually do like this but I may not pre-purchase because I'm kind of um, impressed with the white super fresh and that's cheaper so I'm a college student you know I, I like to save money so I think that's all from Maybelline yeah and then um, I got a few things from BYS which is an Australian brand it stands for Be Yourself Cosmetics and I tried their brow gel. This is the packaging. Oh yeah, everything I bought I will list down below as long as their prices, along with their prices. So um, I've been wanting to try a brow gel. Someone made a very weird sound. Someone's talking and I can hear it. They're in the hallway. I think they're cleaning or something. But yeah, so this is the BYS brow gel. I've always wanted to try a brow gel. I got the lightest shade, which is a blonde's best friend, and I pretty much did ditch, dipped my brow in this in. It's awesome. If you're into the Anastasia brow pomade or the La Mercier dip brow, I think that's what it's called. And you're not and you cannot suffice spending over $20. This is your pick. I think it's 399 pesos, so that's like roughly uh, $5, so it's a steal, people. So definitely really do like this, and it's, it's a one-step thing. You don't have to line your brows, fill in with powder, then set it with brow gel. It's a one-step thing, and it stays on the whole day. It literally clings to your brows, so I love that. Now the other thing I tried from BYS is actually a disappointment. It's their eyeliner gel. It comes in this and it also came with a eyeliner brush. I like the eyeliner brush. Not so much with the uh, eyeliner. There is a cover and I don't want to take it out. Um, I was impressed with this when I first used it because it was super super creamy although it's not completely black black but it's really really creamy but the thing that I didn't like about this it's that it doesn't completely set but I would have to set it with uh, black eyeshadow and it completely beats the purpose of uh, eyeliner gel so um, I don't like this at all and it smudges it transfers here and while I was doing my makeup I had like I was I don't know what they did but suddenly I had like a transfer here it was a complete mess so this was really it's actually kind of pricey this is 549 pesos and completely not worth it. It's not completely black. I just wish they reformulated because it's really, really creamy, but not a fan of it. But yeah. So I have a few things from the brand called Shawel or Shawel. And it's a local brand here in the Philippines. And I, I, I've always been a big fan of their blushes and their eyeshadows. But the thing that blowed me away were their lipsticks this time. And they are the Green Lava lasting color lipsticks so the one i'm actually wearing right now is from them and this is completely out of my comfort zone and there was this girl rocking red orange lipstick and i'm like i need that i need blood orange in my life so this one is in the shade 005 gorgeousness gorgeousness so that is a swatch of it really pigmented really creamy and super long lasting it's just amazing and the other shade i got is 003 which is mm, more of like a bright reddish reddish pink color it's that one right there and just lovely if you can get your hands on these they're super cheap they're 99 pesos which is basically two dollars point twenty two dollars and yeah it's just amazing totally recommended and they smell like smell like they smell like orange juice and then the other thing i got is the translucent silky lipstick pencil and they're basically the famous jumbo with pencils and it just looks like this 
and it's in the shade 03 by the way this one I haven't worn yet on my lips and I don't think you'll see that but it's that one right there it's just a really nice nudie peachy color really really pretty and the other thing I got is their perfect lip liner pencil and it's in the shade 2 and this is basically 59 pesos it's um, a dollar and something and it looks like that it's a little bit darker compared to the other lipstick and yeah completely love that i think that's it no wait that's wrong as i said i'm a big fan of their blushes i could not 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 try their blushes so cheryl i got their rosy collagen touch blusher in the shade six and it's actually the one i have on my cheeks which is completely washed out but it's just one of those blushes that's kind of in like you're kind of wearing a blush but you're not wearing a blush it's just a very natural color i will swatch one for you and it looks like that and the other thing i got which i was planning to use today and this is the shawl terracotta blusher so it's basically one of those big blushes and damn the lighting here is so bad but um yeah it's just a really nice um kind of highlight it's i don't know it's a very different highlight you probably won't see that that's a very bad swatch but i don't think it's coming off in the camera but i really do like this and then the last thing i got is the stay flawless primer stick base and it's doesn't it remind you of something for a second there doesn't it remind you of benefit really funny so it looks like this so it's a concealer slash primer i got in the shade 02 and it ah, looks like this you know one of those stick stuff and when i first used this i actually ended up liking it then when i used it for the second time i don't know it just accentuated my dry patches too much that i had to remove it um, middle of the day now this one is not a full like a heavy duty concealer it's almost translucent on the skin it blends in really nicely but as i said if you have dark skin i uh, dark skin um dry skin it really accentuates the dry patches so i still have to play around with it but i like that effect that it's like a concealer slash primer i never heard of that before so i do like that and then last makeup item it's the la gurgle Gur LA Girl Glaze LA Girl Glaze Lip Paint Lip Tars. So my shade that I got is blushing. Which you can see how pigmented it is. So it's like a mauve color, but it's like a deeper mauve and the purple tones are a lot more prominent. And I love this color. And it smells like peppermint. So that is it for my beauty haul and I'll be definitely be reviewing some of these products or maybe you want a more in-depth review of some of these products or like a brand review then just comment down below don't forget to subscribe subscribe to this channel and